Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. On this channel, we talk about all things fandom and we talk about them in a positive way. And today is Terrifying Tuesday, so we have to talk about horror, although we've been talking about horror all month long because it is the season. Now, today we're going to be talking about the new Frankenstein movie that is going to be coming out on Netflix probably in 2025. But it is because of the cast and the director and all the things surrounding this movie that we simply must talk about it because it has to be on your radar. So let's jump right into it. All right, so Guillermo del Toro is actually getting ready to start a Frankenstein movie. This would be an adaption of the original book, not an adaption of the universal classic monster. This is noteworthy because lately we have seen a number of Dracula movies come out. And the last one that we saw was based on a chapter in the original novel. And then, of course, there was Renfield with Nicolas Cage taking on the iconic role of Dracula, focusing on Renfield and his quest to free himself from Dracula. But when you're thinking about universal monsters, you're thinking about the universal monsters. You don't think about the origins or the books that they're based on. And someone like Guillermo del Toro coming in and doing this, actually making this movie, is interesting because I think he has the skill set to do this. Looking at the other movies that he has done over the years, it will definitely prove to be one of the more interesting adaptions of Frankenstein we've ever gotten. There are some Frankenstein stories where we've gotten high caliber actors playing the monster or playing Dr. Frankenstein himself. One that comes to mind is when Robert De Niro was playing Frankenstein. I had no problem with Robert De Niro playing Frankenstein. My problem was that it was Robert De Niro playing Frankenstein. And that's what I saw when I saw the movie. It, I enjoyed the movie, but I could never get out of this mindset that Frankenstein is, is Robert De Niro. So you have to, if you're doing this, bring a cast that is going to be able to make you forget who they are, especially when you're dealing with the Frankenstein monster. I think a lot of cases... These adaptions have failed because you have these actors that you can't unsee. And you look at them and that's who you're seeing in the role. This has happened time and time again. Now the cast that has been announced for this movie looks like a pretty decent cast. You have... Andrew Garfield playing Dr. Frankenstein. Now, this is good because Andrew Garfield is one of those actors that I believe can pull off Dr. Frankenstein. Sure, he looks a little bit on the younger side, but Dr. Frankenstein isn't an elderly gentleman at, by any means. And if you put the right look to Andrew Garfield, he's definitely going to pull off this 20-something, 30-something guy who is a doctor and wants to experiment on the dead. I can see him pulling this off quite well. Then you have Mia Goth. And Mia Goth is coming into this role of... The girl that will eventually become the Bride of Frankenstein. Now, it's interesting to note this for two reasons. Mia Goth can definitely pull off any role that she is given. She is rapidly becoming one of my all-time favorite actresses of, the, of today's era. And rightly so. Everything that she has touched, she has made me believe her character. And because of that, 
I'm super excited that she will be taking on the role of the bride of Frankenstein. But that's another thing. If you look at the book, Frankenstein, the bride plays a little bit of a part in that. However, in the Universal movie, we think Frankenstein and we think Frankenstein. Then we think the sequel, Bride of Frankenstein. You have to keep in mind that in the original novel, all of this kind of happened within the novel. And we just got Frankenstein and then the Bride of Frankenstein. So if it's actually an adaption of the novel itself, then we're definitely going to be seeing her become the Bride of Frankenstein, which will be pretty cool. Now, the Bride in the book is quite different from the Bride in the Bride of Frankenstein Universal Monsters movie. So don't go in expecting a whole lot from her becoming the Bride of Frankenstein. It's not going to work out quite that way. Then you have Oscar Isaac playing Frankenstein. And I'm, I'm down for this because Oscar Isaac is another one of those brilliant actors. The cast of this movie looks amazing. And I'm super down for seeing this come to fruitation, seeing this actually happen. Because now you have Oscar Isaac as Frankenstein, and I strongly believe that he can make this work. Oscar Isaac has really come into his own. And to see him in such an iconic role will either make or break how I view him in the future. If I look at Oscar Isaac as Frankenstein and I'm seeing only Oscar Isaac, then yes, I'm going to remember that and it's going to have an impact on how I look at him as an actor in the future. However, I think he has the look where he could blend into this makeup quite well. And that's been a lot of the problem with actors playing Frankenstein. They haven't been able to blend into the makeup as well. The makeup and effects of the movies have oftentimes not made them look like they are our classic Frankenstein. Our, not our reimagined Frankenstein, that they are still those actors. A lot of what they do here is going to depend on how they play this out. But the director they have is amazing. With him at the helm, with him doing this, I could see this becoming one of the better adaptations. Now, I will go on record right now as saying, while I am very excited to see this movie, this movie should be taken a bit lightly because we've had adaptions of Frankenstein before and none of them will ever compare sadly to the Universal Monster movies because they are so iconic. Wouldn't it be funny though if the Universal Monster movies made sort of a comeback with some of these movies that are being adapted that are a little bit closer to the book? What if we do get our monster verse that everyone was promising us? After all, the Universal Monsters were, in fact, the first cinematic universe. If not the first, one of the earliest. But I want to know what you guys think. All right, everybody, as always, we want to know what you guys think, so make sure you leave us that comment in the comment box below. Don't forget to share this video with all of your friends so they can be part of the conversation as well. Then don't forget to hit that like button because it helps the channel and we appreciate it. Miko says we need more subscribers and you don't want to disappoint Miko, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell while you're down there so you don't miss a single video we do. Then friends, at the end of the day, I know it, you know it, and Miko knows it. Fandom is family.